So it was a lot of people I've been hearing uh mention this boss's name before I did. Um I know last year I started to catch on, but a guy named Abdullah Mason, who Shakur Stevenson uh has had high praise for lately. He said that he feels like um Abdullah Mason is the best prospect in boxing. It feels like that he he can be able to um take over the sport of boxing in the future and that a lot of guys are going to be um he's going to be hard to deal with as far as um with a lot of guys in the boxing game as far as everybody and uh from what i've seen and he's not just saying as far as just where he's at as far as just in, over the entire sport you know what i'm saying because uh from what i've seen lately i didn't think that uh it'll be a lot of talent coming out but a lot of uh American fighters have um uh, huge talent coming out and, um Abdullah Mason is one of the guys. He has a lot of skill, can box, uh punch, has a lot of power. But he has um has a lot of skill though, mostly. Very skillful boxer. Um it's not a lot of guys like him right now. He's developing well. But for him to uh for Shakur, for Shakur Stevenson to say that, it kind of surprises you. And, you know, he's a uh, technician himself, so for him to kind of give that kind of praise out, it just lets you know that uh, Mason is definitely someone who's uh, at the top right now. So you have to have a lot of guys around his age, 19. It's not a lot of guys who's really probably going to be on his level right now. So he and he's already improving and moving fast, so only time will tell, but uh that kinda caught me off guard. That just kinda makes everything seem better now because Mason's gonna have his first uh eight round fight. It's gonna be on the uh, undercard for uh T F Uma Lopez and Jermaine Ortiz against uh Benjamin Gramont Gramet. So should be good. Um, I feel like he definitely has a chance to get a knockout, but um, if he gets eight rounds in, it's still going to be a um, a chance he can kind of, uh, you know, try some things out, kind of showcase what he brings to the table. But I wouldn't mind seeing um, him go the full distance and kind of seeing what he actually does uh, throughout the rounds. But uh, this doesn't surprise me, though. I've seen a lot of guys lately around his age and um, weight class that um, have done a lot, and they have a lot of skill. You know, they fight different, fight to fight. They don't try to go for the knockout. So that's one one of the most imp- uh, impressive things I, I've, I've seen. A lot of these guys, they can get the knockout, but they're not going to try to uh, – press to get the knockout even if a guy's not on their level they're not really trying to risk anything so i don't know a lot of smart moves being made by them on their part as far as how they move and strategize but it goes to show you that um what he's seen in the gym as far as or just overall from these guys it's just a different level and i've seen abdullah mason you know he's been getting bigger and stronger lately so it's definitely to a point now where you can kind of see him coming to his own but um i don't know i wonder what people think about this but that that's definitely some high praise though but that's all i got though like and subscribe